Hi there, it's DJ B, and in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the different brands of white acrylic paint. When it comes to painting white markings, there is a huge variety in the different kinds of paints, a quality and opacity difference for each brand as well. So in this video, I will be reviewing a couple brands that I have used in both the acrylic and airbrush side of things. So here's my final color chart of what they look like, and you can see that some of them are a lot more translucent than others, and the quality really varies. The first brand of paint is just generic craft paint. This particular brand that I prefer is Folk Art. I've had good luck with Americana as well. They all kind of work the same. They are a very matte consistency, which is desirable for some artists because they don't gum up at all. It doesn't go on necessarily thick, but it goes on with semi-opacity as it's a more chalky consistency. It works almost like a watercolor paint versus an acrylic paint. And so I would recommend these for beginners. They work really well. They're not highly pigmented, so the more you water the paint down, the less pigmented pigmentation you get so you're gonna have to do a lot more layers with this kind of paint than you would a high quality paint. The next kind I have tried before is Golden Artist Colors. These are a little more expensive but true acrylic paint. It is kind of gummy in consistency. For canvas painting traditionally you would want a thicker heavy body acrylic that's gonna show up really well on your canvas but for model painting it's a little too thick almost and I didn't find I liked this paint that much but I did a couple customs with it. Windsor & Newton Professional Acrylic is about the same. It's a little pricey and it's a little gummy as well. Preference between Golden and in Windsor, I would definitely say the Windsor Newton is a little better just because it is less gummy in consistency than the Golden. They have about the same coverage and the same working consistency. Uh, they're highly pigmented so that they can be watered down quite a bit. The best professional grade high quality acrylic I have found to date is Joe Sanja Artist Colors. And this paint is about the same consistency as the Windsor and Newton, but it is completely matte. And I find the matte texture just works really well because it doesn't gum up, it doesn't ball up in weird places. So it's almost like working with a watercolor. It's like a high quality version of folk art or Americana paint, but if you water this paint down, it's not going to lose its opacity. Golden and Windsor and Newton paint, you're going to end up with a bit of streakiness if you're layering this paint too thick. It holds its texture really well and that's just for canvas painting. With Joe Sanja paint, I find that you don't get as much streaking as some of the other paints, it actually dries quite smooth. So even if you paint it on with a few brush strokes in it, it dries to a very smooth surface, which is really important for model horse white markings. Golden High Flow Acrylic is commonly used in the hobby. Uh, so here I have it in titanium white. This paint is really awesome because it's perfect for going straight into the airbrush and it's watered down already for you. So some artists like using this because you don't need to consistently water down your paint yourself and you're gonna have a consistent flow going and that can be really useful in certain circumstances. Now I do find this stuff if you put it on too thick it does get quite gummy. It's a very rubbery consistency so you almost have to leave it for a day to cure fully if you're going to be doing a lot of layers and it also dries very very glossy and I don't prefer that for my markings but I will use this occasionally. This is actually the best paint for white herring because it's already pre-diluted. I've also tried Createx Opaque Airbrush color and this is a similar airbrush paint but it is quite opaque actually. I've used this quite a few times on markings in Stablemate models and whatnot. It works pretty well. It does need a little bit of dilution to get a smooth consistency. It is a little gummy in consistency as well and the smell of this paint is quite strong which I don't really enjoy. I don't like using a really fragrant paint. The next one I have is Vallejo model color and this is pure acrylic color that is in a tiny acrylic bottle. This paint is a little bit thick so you would have to water it down a fair amount but it works pretty good I have no complaint. Vallejo Model Air and this is the paint that's designed to go into the airbrush so it is pre-diluted. Now it's less diluted than the Golden High Flow Acrylic and Vallejo in general is both very very matte. They dry very very smooth and I do enjoy using them quite a bit for micro mini white markings just because they don't need dilution and they go on pretty smooth. I generally don't have issues with lumpiness or weird consistencies. The only downfall to this is that they come in a really small container. Now some of the paints I choose to avoid 
Void is like Pabio Studio Acrylics. This is like the entry level acrylic paint that you see in art stores and like places like Walmart. It goes on very streaky. They're not very opaque. They need a lot of layers and they're very gummy and almost like that paint you used to use in elementary school. It's the same as Artist Touch Acrylic. These are good for canvas painting, but for model painting, they're just not ideal. I would avoid these and go for a higher quality airbrush paint or professional acrylic. As you can see on this chart that the airbrush paints are a lot more translucent than the acrylics. So the top row is your professional grade heavy body acrylic. The middle row is your airbrush paint and the last row is your cheap off-brand beginner's paint. So I wouldn't recommend the bottom row. You can see that the not the best coverage and not the best working quality within the airbrush paints. The golden is definitely the most translucent and has the most layers. The Createx is the most opaque and the Vallejo model color and model air are kind of my preferred choices out of these paints if you're working with white markings if you're airbrushing the golden has its place it definitely is my preferred choice for roning hairs but Vallejo model air and Vallejo model color those ones work hand in hand for large body markings but like I said they come in quite a small container so you would have to buy quite a bit of it if you were doing a large scale traditional model with a lot of white on it I would recommend just a folk art Amer Americana if you're starting out there's no problem problem using that kind of paint. It works well enough and it's pretty affordable. You just have to do more layers. I've seen people successfully paint with this stuff. Personally, I just prefer that matte texture so that that stuff works really well for me. And then the Golden and Windsor and Newton, they work okay, but like I said, pretty gummy in consistency and not the greatest for smooth markings. So my favorite paint for sure, the one I always use now is Joe Sanja, just for the matte texture and the opacity and pigmentation within it. So it's like a high grade folk art paint. So those are my personal preferences, but all of these paints have their purposes and you can try different ones and see what you like more and what you don't. White markings are really hard, but this is just showing you that like the white paint makes a bit of a difference, but not necessarily because I've achieved white markings with pretty much all of these products because I started with the beginner, the Bio paint, and I moved up to Golden High Flow and I tried using that. I tried the CreateX. I tried the Vallejo. I've tried all of them. That's why I have them all. And I've successfully done marking with all of them, but definitely my favorites are those Joe Sanja, the matte finish type paint and the Vallejo because that is also a matte type paint. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this makes your decision of what paint you should buy a little easier. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Links to all of the products I've recommended will be in the description below. Please like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram and Facebook or sign up on my website to join my mailing list to be first to know about customs, tutorials, and commissions.